A group claiming to be Iranian hackers taking responsibility for the hack of a federal library website over the weekend. Contessa Brewer has more on the rising cyber attack risks from HQ for us. Contessa. Hi there, Morgan. Yeah, the White House and the FBI have not yet commented, but if this is Iran's work, it is only a hint of all that Iran's cyber army is capable of. Defense intelligence experts are predicting wide-ranging attacks that in the past have targeted banks, oil, universities, even Sheldon Adelson's casino, Las Vegas Sands. Homeland Security issued a terror alert this weekend warning of Iran's long history in cyber attacks. Quote, Iran maintains a robust cyber program and can execute cyber attacks against the United States. Iran is capable, at a minimum, of carrying out attacks with temporary disruptive effects against critical infrastructure in the United States. Now, even before this crisis with Iran, hackers were doing real damage to governments and business around the world. In 2018, cybercrime cost the world half a trillion dollars in economic damage. That's according to estimates by Marsh, far more than the $300 billion in economic losses from natural disasters. And yet, that same year, U.S. customers spent only $4 billion on cybersecurity insurance premiums, dwarfed by the $180 billion paid for property insurance premiums, which suggests that the risk of cyber losses is vastly underestimated. Experts tell me the threat to small business is even greater than to large companies like Marriott and Equifax, which saw major hacks last year. That's because smaller businesses have less protection and they're more vulnerable to incursion. I have in front of me, guys, a note from Evercore this morning warning about the hacker economics um, and, and talking about the real threat here to U.S. companies. We're likely to see this ratcheting up in the days and weeks ahead.